I'm working in VS Code and I have just installed this extension PHP CS Fixer. I've got a PHP file open and I'm going to attempt to format it. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to see is a message from VS Code telling me it doesn't know which formatter it should use for PHP files. So I'm going to click configure and then from the list of options I'm going to choose the PHP CS Fixer extension that I just installed. That leads to another error though telling me that I can't find the executable path for the PHP CS Fixer. To address that we need to go into our settings. Quickest way to get into your settings is we can open up the command palette. We're going to search for settings and we want to choose open user settings and we want the JSON format. We want our text-based version of the settings. So here are all my settings and you can see the very last setting uh, is indicating for our PHP files what the default formatter should be and it should be set to that option we just chose a moment ago. Basically that dialog we went through actually added the settings to our config file for us. Now adding on to this though as is indicated in the error message we need to set this executable path setting and I'm going to actually copy it directly from this error message and then paste that into my settings. Now just a quick note of what we're doing here this extension uh, basically all it's doing is integrating into VS Code our ability to use a command line program called PHP CS Fixer. And in this setting, we're telling it where it's going to find that program. And we happen to be pointing to a version of the program that came with the extension itself. That's why it's referencing the extension path when it's locating that file. Now, if you already had the PHP CS Fixer command line program installed somewhere else on your computer and you wanted to use that version of it, you would just update this path to point to that version but we're gonna use the bundled in version that comes with the extension. And with that setting in place, let's go back to our PHP file. I'm gonna close the error message. Let's try to format again. Perfect, it worked that time. And for most of you, that's all you need to do to get things up and running, you're done at this point. But let's say you go to format it and you see that same error message again. What might be happening is VS Code is trying to run the PHP CS Fixer program using PHP itself. And if it can't find PHP on your system, it's going to trigger that error. To show you what I mean, I'm going to switch over to my Windows system where I'm still experiencing the same error. You can see I've got my settings open. I have set the executable path. But if I go to my PHP file and attempt to format it, there's that same error. All right now, in this case, the problem is, is that PHP is not available on this system. Uh, and just to show this, I'm going to open up my bash program. I'm using git bash in this case. And if I attempt to invoke PHP, I get the error command not found. If I attempt to locate PHP on the system using the which command, it's also unable to find it. All right, so that's why the extension's failing because the extension needs PHP to run that PHP CS fixer program. And if it can't find it, we're getting that error. So how do you address this? Well, you need to get PHP installed on your system. And there's lots of different ways of doing this. Uh, my recommendation, I'm gonna go over to the notes that accompany this video. We're down under this section, still not working. Uh, and there's a couple links here to some programs I suggest. If you're on Mac, check out a program called Herd or Zamp. Uh, this is a local server software program that comes with PHP built in. Uh, similarly, on Windows, your options include things like Laragon or also Zamp. It also works on Windows. All right, if you download those, set them up, you'll have PHP on your system. And then uh, to address the issue in VS Code, one thing you could do is you could set a setting called php.validate.executablePath that points to the location of your PHP install. Now this is gonna vary depending on which software you went with. For example, if you're on a Mac and you installed Herd, your executable path is gonna look something like this. It's gonna be in your user's directory, followed by your username, library, application support, Herd, bin, PHP. All right, that's the path you wanna use. You can copy that, just replace your username with your username. Uh, if you're working with XAMPP on PHP, this is where you'll find PHP within the XAMPP install. Uh, and then here are the paths. If you're on Laragon on Windows, this is the path where you'll find PHP. Uh, note that this is referencing a specific PHP version number. So whenever you're watching this video, you'll want to go into this directory and check which version of PHP is actually available and edit this line uh, as appropriate. And then finally, here's the option for if you're running XAMPP on Windows. All right, now to demonstrate this, uh, I do actually have XAMPP installed on my Windows install. So I'm gonna take this last config and add it to my config. So let me go back to Windows, add that, save it, close out this error. Let's go back to our test PHP file. I'm gonna attempt to format this and perfect, it's working there. So hopefully that got you on track and got your formatter working. 
Uh, just as a bonus tip, I will mention that uh, what we just did, the setting in terms of telling VS Code about the PHP executable path, uh, that's going to be specific to VS Code only. If you want to make PHP globally accessible on your computer, uh, so that if you're, say, working in command line, you're trying to execute PHP and you don't want to see command not found, uh, what you want to do is you want to go in and edit your system's path variable, and you want to specify the path to where PHP can be located. Once you do that, you should be able to execute uh, PHP from things like command line. Now, that's a whole other topic unto itself. Uh, if you want instructions on how to edit your computer's path variable to set that up, check the video description. I have two separate videos on that, one for Mac and one for Windows. That'll show you how to do that.